Hey there, YouTube. Welcome back to Atlantic City. Um, today, I... <clears throat> for as many of these videos as I put out, I don't put out a bunch of really good rocking stuff often enough. And, uh, you know, you, 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 you would think that I don't even like that kind of music, and I do. I don't know why I don't bother to get to it, but this is one that I think a lot of people are maybe somewhat less familiar with. So it, 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 it attracted me right away. Um, Mick Abrams was the original guitarist in Jethro Tull, circa 1967, way, way back. Um, he was on the first Jethro Tull album, but because Mick Abrams was on that album, it doesn't really sound a whole lot like Jethro Tull. Mick Abrams put a lot of his own signature on that album. Um, he was fired, um, you know, or at some point, um, after that first record came out, and then Jethro Tull hired Martin Barr, who stayed with, uh, Ian Anderson forever, uh, you know, from then on, and, um, um, Mick Abrams formed the band Bloodwind Pig, who were exceptional. And Mick Abrams was the, you know, creative force behind Bloodwind Pig, and it sounded exactly like Mick Abrams was supposed to sound. So all was right with the world. This song, Cat Squirrel, that we are going to listen to, um was done by Jethro Tull, live, you know, during Mick Abrams' tenure. It, of course, was appeared on uh, the, the debut album from Bloodwind Pig, and it was a staple of the Bloodwind Pig's live repertoire. But most of the people, I think, know it from Cream. They did a cover of it, too. So... It's a it's a great song. It's been around a whole bunch, and here is Cat Squirrel. Enjoy. This is the Jethro Tull version from the uh, Legends Greatest Hits album. So this is very early on. This is probably recorded in 67.
was Mick, Mick Abrams and the first incarnation of Jethro Tull. Uh, you know, like pre the Jethro Tull sound. Um, you know, uh, phenomenal. Phenomenal player. Um, I, I love this song because it, it, it really, this song really was not played that much after 1970. You know, Cream had broken up, Jethro Tull wasn't this band anymore, uh, Bloodwind Pig was mostly in Britain, a little bit over here. Um, you know, it just, it just, it didn't, it was never big here. Uh, so I thought this would be a, a great, really good rocking song to, uh, to, um, to, uh, bring to everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed that a bunch. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you all soon back up on a boardwalk. Be good, YouTube.